the objective of this topic is to identify the major types of power sources used for arc welding and their applications. Arc welding power sources are the source of the electric current that maintains the arc during the welding process. Many different types and sizes of power sources are available and it is important for the user to have sufficient technical information to select the power source best suited for the work to be done. There are two basic types of power sources available for arc welding, the constant current and the constant voltage. Combination machines exist that offer both constant current and constant voltage, but these are not as common. The constant current power source is the one used for shielded metal arc welding. It is also used for other welding processes, such as gas tungsten arc, plasma arc, carbon arc welding and gouging, and stud welding. It may also be used for continuous wire processes, such as gas metal arc and submerged arc welding but only if a voltage sensing wire feeder is used. The constant current power source produces a drooping volt ampere curve. In reality, the current is not exactly constant, but it remains about the same for the varying arc lengths encountered in manual welding. The welder has control over the voltage by regulating the length of the arc within the limits of producing a good weld. Increasing the arc length will increase the arc voltage. Decreasing the arc length will decrease the voltage. This permits the welder to control the heat input to the arc. The other basic type of power source is the constant voltage. This type of power source can only be used for semi-automatic, automatic, or machine welding, which employ a continuously fed electrode wire they are made for direct current only. This power source maintains a nearly constant voltage regardless of the current in the arc. This is called a flat volt ampere curve. If the electrode wire is fed into the arc at a specific rate, it will automatically draw a proportional amount of current from the constant voltage source. The rate at which the wire is fed to the arc is controlled by a wire feed speed control mounted into the wire feed system. This control also allows adjustment of the welding current. A voltage control on the face of the power source sets the desired welding voltage. The combination of these two controls provides the system with relatively trouble-free operation. Direct current can be used in either polarity, electrode positive, sometimes called reverse polarity, or electrode negative, sometimes called straight polarity. Direct current electrode positive is normally used when deeper penetration is required, and direct current electrode negative is normally used for shallow penetration. In general, electrode negative provides higher deposition rates than electrode positive. The selection of polarities depends on the type of equipment and electrodes available. Alternating current, called AC, can be used with the shielded metal arc process. Many domestic power sources are capable of providing only alternating current. Most types of power sources can be used for shielded metal arc welding. These can include transformers, transformer rectifiers, motor generators, and gasoline or diesel-driven generators. Transformer power sources are normally quiet in operation. The alternating current they supply is helpful in eliminating arc blow, a magnetic interaction of the arc, which can be troublesome in complicated joint arrangements. By the addition of a rectifier to the transformer, both alternating and direct current can be produced. These transformer rectifier sources have a switch which allow the welder a choice of alternating current, direct current electrode negative, or direct current electrode positive.
depending on the process and type of electrode. Motor generators powered either by electric motors or gasoline diesel combustion engines are especially useful for field welding applications. These power sources can provide either direct or alternating current. All the power sources discussed so far are single operator sources. That is, the power sources supply current for only one welder or welding operation at a time. Multiple operator systems exist, which allow a number of stations to run off a single source. These are heavy duty, high current, and relatively high voltage machines with a constant voltage output. The size of the power source and the number of control systems must be carefully matched to produce the most efficient system. Welding power sources have a duty cycle, which is the ratio of arc time to the total amount of time that the power source is turned on. For example, a 60% duty cycle means that the welding load can be applied continuously for six minutes out of 10. Then the load must be off for a four minute rest period. Most industrial constant current machines are rated for a 60% duty cycle. This is sufficient for manual operations such as shielded metal arc welding, where the welder must stop frequently to change electrodes. With a 100% duty cycle, welding can be continued indefinitely without the need for a rest period. This is important for continuous wire operations, such as gas metal arc or submerged arc welding, where the welding may take hours to perform, especially in automatic and machine applications. The main points to consider when selecting among these types of power sources are the welding process to be used, the amount and type of current required for the work, the power available at the job site, and convenience and economic factors. If manual welding is to be done, such as shielded metal arc welding or gas tungsten arc welding, select the constant current power source with the drooping volt ampere curve. For the continuous wire processes, such as gas metal arc or flux cord arc welding, the normal preference is the constant voltage type with a flat volt ampere curve. The power source selected must provide the proper current and polarity for the job. That is, direct current electrode positive or negative or alternating current. The power source must also provide adequate current capacity to handle the maximum amount of current expected for the job. Beware of selecting a power source with excess capacity. Higher amperage machines are expensive. The available power at the job site can impose a severe limitation on the size and type of source that can be used. For home or domestic sites with household type 110 volt current, use an AC transformer with limited current capability. That is, a source that uses a lower rate of current, usually a 60% duty cycle or lower. For industrial applications, any sort of transformer or transformer rectifier will function well. If the power available is not adequate for these sources, then an internal combustion type may be necessary. In a production situation, it is desirable to select a power source which will perform the required work reliably but without unnecessary features. A small shop with a limited need for a wide variety of welding may select a combination constant current, constant voltage machine of large capacity. A job shop that does field work should have an internal combustion engine driven unit as well as an electrically powered machine. If only shielded metal arc welding is used and if alternating current is sufficient for the work, a transformer type power source is an economical solution. 
it is good economy to buy a quality power source for whatever type or size is needed for the job. Farm or hobby type sources are not recommended for production welding situations. After considering all known factors, be sure to give consideration to future conditions, such as growth and added versatility. And then consult with a welding equipment supplier for help with making your final decision.